We are working with the Caribbean Development Bank, so the cost to the government of this particular study is $1.3 million. Um, it is not the total cost of the study, it is the government's component. We are paying only for the last component that I spoke of, which is the survey of living conditions slash household budget survey. That is the data collection component. That is $1.3 million. We are also being supported by the IDB. They're putting, for now, but we understand that it will increase. They've paid for the, the design of the survey instrument, and that is 270,000 Barbados dollars, um, 135,000 US dollars. So essentially, the cost is going to be significantly more than this. Barbadians can be assured that we will have a new poverty line. We'll be able to give the country an update on the level of poverty by the end of the year. The data collection component of it takes six months. So the next few steps is that for the next two months until the end of the financial year, we will be designing the instrument, hiring the consultants um, with the Carbon Development Bank, and so on. And then from April 1st, the intention is to start the data collection. And that process lasts six months because you want to get as much information over that period of time. The, the IDB study normally lasts a year. The data collection component, the CDB component is six months. And that allows us to be able in a position to make um, serious de determinations about how do we treat to poverty? Who is experiencing poverty? Where is that poverty? Do we need to make new adjustments to the government's social programming? Because you really cannot make decisions if you do not have the data.